Hey everyone, Gellibabba here with a getting started guide for BFA Fire Mage. In this guide I'll be going over the optimal talents, Azerite traits, stat priority and gameplay you should be aiming for in the new expansion. For this tier I recommend playing Firestarter as it allows you to have strong openers especially when paired with Tinder. Firestarter also makes your swaps a lot stronger. Alternatively you can play Pyromaniac which will allow more hot streak procs. This is better in games where you're able to free cast Fireball a lot, thus generating more hot streaks will allow this talent to be effective. I don't recommend Searing Touch as quite often you'll be able to finish a target when they get to this health or they'll just pop a defensive. Attempting to pre-scorch when they're around 30% is also a huge waste of potential damage if they don't dip into the 30% range. For this next tier I'd recommend playing Shimmer as it allows you to easily blink Dragon's Breath healers into crowd control. It also allows you to play with a build such as Greater Pyroblast without getting lined frequently on it. Against classes that Q and stun such as Outlaw Rogues, you can take Blazing Barrier. The shield generator is very powerful and the ability to regain blinks removing stuns can be a lifesaver. Finally, Blast Wave can be taken in very specific situations such as facing a melee cleave on Dalaran where you want to blink out of the stuns, e.g. versus a rogue or warrior. The knockback effect from Blast Wave is very weak, however when positioned correctly can be enough to bump them off the edge. I recommend always playing in Candice Flow for this row as it passively increases your damage over any prior setup. It also passively increases your ignite damage over the entire game. Alternatively, you could play a Rune of Power, however fire damage is so streaky that pre-runing your burst can be quite difficult at times. Once again, I recommend mirror images in 2v2 when playing 2 DPS vs 2 DPS. The consistent damage while you're lining or crowd controlled will often win you games with little effort. Although be aware that fire mage images do not apply slow unlike frost, so they are overall weaker. Personally, I recommend Phoenix Flame with this tier as it allows you to burst solely with instants and always makes use of your hot streak procs. Phoenix Flames also makes your combustion a lot stronger by generating pyros back to back. Flame On is also a great choice for this tier as it allows you to build up instant pyros at a similar speed to Phoenix Flames and put your Fire Blast to a shorter cooldown. This is great since it hits similar to Pyro Blast with the right gear. I'd recommend Flame On against Restless Shamans where you're constantly killing their grounding totems. On this tier I would recommend Ring of Frost. This will allow you to dual school CC and also have the potential to cross CC. Be aware that it's not currently possible to land a Ring of Frost off Dragon's Breath, so be ringing off stuns or off your route. If playing 2s or without a class that can allow you to CC chain, I would recommend Ice Ward. Due to every healer only having won the spell now and fire slow being only 20%, access to 2 roots can be great for peels. Some of you may think that frenetic speed would be good, however if playing with the freedom on your team I would not recommend it, as you'll be barely noticing the difference when you are slowed. The only arena I would really recommend this talent is against the warriors in 2s where you can kite him without getting hamstringed. Once again, Blizzard have gifted us with a useless level 90 talent row. I would recommend playing Living Bombers to not break your CC and give a little extra burst in between goes. Conflagration is also a viable talent on this tier if you're certain the other team are not going to stack on your CC, or if you're playing a comp where you can win without crowd control. Meteor is by far the best talent here as it gives you access to your hardest hitting burst ability, as long as no one else is stacking on the kill target. Kindling can also be taken in longer games, as when combined with the Firestarter PvP talent, can give you an extra combustion usage in a match. Depending on which fire mage you ask, we will all generally give you different ideas on what other talents to pick. Here is my overview and what I personally think is the most optimal for my playstyle. Tinder is a still a good choice as it increases your fireball damage and reduces its cast time. Tinder gets a lot stronger when combined with Firestarter by guaranteeing a strong crit earlier. Not only dealing strong damage but also a strong ignite. I would only recommend playing Tinder in conjunction with Firestarter. Controlled Burn is a great talent that can be played. This talent scale is good if you have got unlucky with gearing and ended up with a more mastery based build. You'll generally always want to play a Temporal Shield, however when versus Druid you can swap it out for Kleptomania. Although running Kleptomania and Temporal together is often a great idea, sometimes it's unwarranted due to the power of the hot shift stolen with Kleptomania. Prismatic Cloak is as always a good talent, however due to the nature of the game currently it's not a must have anymore due to the low amount of burst damage casters have. Although this talent does have its uses, it is often currently not necessary unless facing a Destruction Warlock or a God Comp, who will typically be playing Glacial Spike. Prismatic is also very handy against Elemental Shaman's Earthshock, but unless you can predict when it's coming, it will often end in a wasted talent. Greater Pyroblast is also another strong PvP talent. When playing with a Rogue, you can easily precast Greater Pyroblast on Ghost and chunk down the opponent. However, this talent also has a very long cast time, so when playing with a class without a stun, I would not recommend it. Flame Cannon is a strong talent as it increases your damage while you stand still, however you will often not gain the full effect of this talent as you need to move around to kite and CC. Fire damage is also higher than it was in Legion, making this talent now an option, not a necessity. As mentioned earlier, Firestarter can also be used in conjunction with Kindling to gain quick combustions, however in some games you will not be able to chug out fireballs making this talent not as strong in some cases. 
Finally, dampened magic can be taken when versus dot classes such as Athlete Locks and SPs, the talent will passively reduce their overall pressure. If you're looking for good overall builds, I have two cookie cutter options to halt any confusion. Temporal Shield, Flame Cannon, Controlled Burn. This build allows you to deal strong damage without being pigeonholed into any particular playstyle. In this build, you can swap out Flame Cannon for extra defensive such as Prismatic Cloak, or for extra damage, you can swap into Greater Pyroblast. Temporal Shield can also be swapped out for Clepsomania when versus Residuids. For the second build, I recommend playing Temporal Shield, Flame Cannon, Firestarter with a Kindling Normal Talent. This set of talents is for situations where you can free cast fireballs, allowing you to quickly bring your combustion off cooldown. For Azerite traits, I personally value the Preheat Talent and Earthlink combination as the strongest gear set available. This not only increases Fire Blast to become one of your hardest hitting abilities, but also gives you the passive scaling intellect of Earthlink. Earthlink cycles at around the same speed as Encanters, making your burst winners a lot more effective than if you opted for a different trait. Duplicative Incineration is another great trait, however it only gains value in matchups where you're able to stand and free cast fireballs. Alternatively, for a more defensive build, you could opt into the Cauterizing Blink or Azerite Fortification gear, this would increase your survivability, ergo allowing you to stay in for longer in hosted landing crowd control. This skill also makes you self-sufficient in 2s and BGs. Due to the low levels of haste currently, cars are far too long to not value haste as your highest priority. Haste also lowers your Fire Blast CT and allows you to commit to the crowd control playstyle of fire. Following haste, I value Marshy for the Ignite damage. Due to this recent rework of the PvP talent, Controlled Burn, Ignite is a huge chunk of your single target damage. After this, I recommend going for Versatility, as it increases your overall damage and adds to survivability. Finally comes Crit, as due to the template, you already have a high amount of passive crit. Coupled with the fail save of enhanced pyrotechnics, guaranteed crits of Fire Blast and Phoenix Lane, and reduced effectiveness of crit in PvP, tunneling into this stat does not give you the most bang for your buck. When gearing for max level, I would strongly advise you to get the haste pieces if you have all other stats from the item. Haste will allow you to have smoother gameplay and faster Fire Blast cooldowns. For Alliance races, I recommend Dark Eye and Dwarf. This is due to the human trinket CD nerf, resulting in the extra trinket not being as valuable. Dark Eye is also currently great, as in the Assassin's Rogue meta, removing high hitting blades while bearing water with substantial intellect buff is a really great offensive and defensive trade. Following Dark Eye and Dwarf, I'd recommend Light Forge Janai to use the on use damage, which does get affected by combustion to 100% crit chance. Thirdly, I'd recommend Human for the trinket and passive stats it gives, however, once again, due to the nerf, Human has become less desirable. For Horde Racials, I'd recommend Orc due to the Blood Fury Intellect buff and the passive stun reduction. Although, be aware, it is no longer stacks of Relentless. Alternatively, you could go for Troll, which gives you a 3 minute cooldown haste buff and makes all snares applied to you last shorter, making it slightly easier to kite. Overall, I'd recommend Dark Iron Dwarf, as it is great into many dot classes Warlock, SP, Feral, and Assassin's It gives a fantastic damage bonus with it. However, the meta is more based around sub rogue comps such as Rogue Mage or Thug Cleave, I'd recommend Orc or Human for the additional survivability. Your damage from fire comes from fishing for Pyroblast procs by spamming Fireball and Scorch and procking Hot Streak. After you proc Hot Streak, you should be looking to use your Fireblast or Phoenix Flames to turn your Hot Streak into a guaranteed instant Pyroblast, giving you access to the strongest damage ability. First thing is fire comes in the form of Combustion. Combustion is best used in conjunction with your instants to allow you to roll out as many Pyroblasts as possible. When playing Tinder, you should incorporate fireballs into your combustion, as it will allow you to land two tindered fireballs into the burst window. Outside of combustion, you should be looking to chain meteors and your Phoenix Flame and Fireblast together to deal instant pyroblasts.